Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. So obviously this offseason has been very, very weird, confusing, crazy. It seems like there's always been another twist or turn or whatever right around the corner. It's been keeping us on our toes. It's been keeping us guessing. Uh, every time it seems like you know exactly what's going to happen next, there's some big curveball that comes out of nowhere. Um, it's been very, very entertaining. It's been fun, but it's also uh, been exhausting and it's been weird. And, and today, I guess we have a bit of TSM news, if you want to call it that, to talk about, which might be kind of the weirdest, craziest, most nonsensical story of the entire offseason. So that should tell you how, uh, you know, interesting or good this video is going to be. So uh, definitely make sure you guys do check out the first link in the description below for my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. I'm planning on streaming a decent amount this weekend. We'll see how it all goes, but I want to do some power rankings, tier lists, all that good stuff uh, that has been really, really successful and fun on this channel in the past. Uh, so definitely uh, go check it out. Drop us a follow, maybe a prime maybe a sub with that being said let's get right into this one so TSM's offseason so far uh, has had about 50 different players rumored to be coming to the team obviously at certain points we've had TSM Humanoid, TSM Chovy, um, like TSM Reckless with, with Bjergsen staying and uh, TSM Jensen and uh, TSM every single support in the world, Mickey, Lehen's life, um, you know, fate. We've like we've TSM has been linked to so many different players at this point. Um, and who knows how many of those players they've actually been talking to, how many of them they've been rumored to be talking to, or how many of them were just absolute made up stories. You know, like we heard that TSM was in uh, hot talks with Grab and they were getting close to signing grabs and grabs are just considering between them and some other teams um and it turns out grabs actually never talked to tsm ever um so you know it's, it's hard to tell what to believe and what not to but this story for tsm might have been the craziest the weirdest the funniest whatever and it all starts with this reddit post that a bunch of people last night were sending to me tagging me in telling me i needed to talk about this telling me oh it's happening oh tsm's got their guy and it's all about Faker. <laughs> so, uh, this Reddit post, T1 seems to have some trouble with re-signing Faker. Uh, Nuggery, no news of joining a team. An article was released today in Korea regarding the stove league situation of LCK. There's a part of the article that states a team that was in the process of cleaning up the complicated rosters having trouble with re-signing their veteran player. Because of this, the team is urgently making plan B and are keeping the players uh, they were planning to send off. Obviously, this is, you know, hinting at, or, or they're talking about here, Faker, uh, and then potentially keeping around like Closer or some of these other, you know, players that T1 has sold off because T1's in the process of selling off a lot of their young, talented players right now. Um, they're doing their best to keep the veteran and are in multi-year contract talks, um, but right now the internal issue is the most important um you know like they said tldr faker still in talks to t1 about his contract but there are some problems that are making the talks longer and now this got down to this infinite comment down here it used to be higher up towards the top but uh it's you know since gotten downvoted a little bit more where um, you know, this person says, edit, these are just rumors. Please don't take too seriously. Just know that the article said re-signing is having uh, some problems with the org is trying their best. That's it. Here are some of the rumors. Um, there's a rumor that Canna is going to go to NS. Uh, this could be the reason why NS fired Rich. Uh, today's article says that T1 urgently decided to keep the players that they were about to send out. Could be Canna, could be other players. Uh, on November 14th, two rumors were posted on the Korean communities regarding Faker and T1. Faker is going to free agency. Two teams in the LCK, three teams in the LPL, and two in the LCS are planning to bid for Faker, and obviously the rumor there is that this would be, um, I assume, TL and TSM, maybe TSM and C9. I, don't, I, I think it would have to be TL and TSM, though. Um, and uh, one LCK team wants Faker very much for business purposes. One LCS team is rumored to be given up on their franchise star and are bidding for Faker. Faker going um, to free and T becomes official. Three more LCK teams might join the race. Rumor is going in the industry that T1 lost a big sponsor, which sponsor's not known. So, you know, yada, yada, yada. We get down. There's some more and more rumors. But the one infamous one, this one became the meme. This became really the whole entire story. And what has made this so ridiculous in the end is that uh, edit number four, infamous edit number four. This is completely a rumor. So there was a rumor that TSM wants to sign Faker because FTX wants Faker. So they will give $40 million to Faker over three years. And if they fail to get this done, then they'll just go for an individual sponsorship for Faker instead. And so many people took this and ran with it. So many people fully believed in this that uh you know the ftx money ftx is out there buying everything they're throwing around hundreds of millions of dollars everywhere 
and people were really starting to believe for whatever reason this was all over social media it was all over reddit all over twitter everything that um you know tsm they weren't gonna have the money to throw at, at faker and reggie talked about how they're not gonna go too crazy this off season and uh, how they might want to go more young and developmental but either way they don't want to spend a ton of money because they just aren't seeing a good you know return on on the money they've been spending in terms of results and everything but uh everyone could get behind the fact that like hey if ftx foots the bill then reggie's not really paying it and that is absolutely insane for so many different reasons one ftx is the naming rights sponsor of tsm they would not give tsm um you know additional money or or, or help them you know with their payroll like that's not what their agreement is at all it's not even anything like that ftx likely wouldn't even see a return on that you know they'd be helping tsm make more money which you know in turn might make their name get out there a little bit more but that's not money coming back in their pockets like just even this idea is completely ludicrous absolutely ridiculous makes no sense at all let alone you're talking about a 40 million dollar contract over three years like i I, what is that 13 million dollars a year that was not happening like that is so so crazy like obviously yes faker is faker and to get him to leave the lck especially to come to the lcs especially come to tsm right now it was going to take some crazy amount of money and it was probably never even going to be possible but if it were going to be possible you know if you were going to try and make that story you'd have to make the number so so crazy and ridiculous but 40 million dollars over three years for a league of legends player at this state in the game at this state in esports at this state in time makes absolutely no sense we're already seeing the craziest most ridiculous contracts we've ever seen handed out year after year for this to be the story was crazy and for more people to take it and run with it and believe it and share it and repost it all over the place was even crazier and to no shock of anyone with half a brain faker then uh you know it did come out that faker was re-signing with t1 today so the tsm faker memes like left as soon as they came i mean they were around for what maybe 12 hours um it was kind of a weird time in the united states so like i was sleeping so i kind of went to bed with tsm faker on my mind and woke up and it was like already crushed um so i don't know exactly when it all went down but uh yeah tsm faker is absolutely not happening and i really don't think there was a chance of it ever happening and if there was a chance of it happening this would not have been the situation or the scenario at all in any like in not in this reality not in the world that we currently live in maybe in some freaking parallel universe or something like that um but this was so so crazy so weird to me definitely um one of the most ridiculous absurd weird uh rumors speculations whatever uh, of this offseason it just kind of reminds you to you know be careful what you read be careful what you hear um you know think a little bit about stuff and also you know take a look at your sources and everything because this was really really crazy um we are hearing from lcs doggo however that uh we might actually be getting some tsm news tomorrow it, it, you know some people are saying we might find out about the who the next tsm support is going to be tomorrow um a lot of people are hinting that it's going to be life i don't know we will wait and see um but i know the announcement tomorrow is not going to be tsm faker but that is pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i'd appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below what do you think about this uh did you believe it when you you heard it did you think it was crazy i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe to save today and all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace